Hello friends, in last video we have seen gate mapping annotations in Spring Boot. In this video we have to learn how to access data from a database. So for, so for that we need one database and database configurations. So let's create one database. Here I have created one schema mydb2 and table name is user. Here you can see the record of a. I have added two records. One is Gautam and second name is Akshas. Okay. So in model class, we have to mention the entity annotations here. And ID. Here we have to add ID as a annotations. And also must must want uh, the by default constructor here for accessing the data. Now we have to create a one DAO layer. Just create here one interface. Give the name as user repo. Give package name. I give as a DAW, you can give in name, and here is a DAW layer interface. Before that, we have to configure some application pra dot properties file. In that application dot properties file, we have to specify the database URL, which is I given that is a schema name is a mydb2 and username root, password is a root, and dialect property also. We have to add the some dependency. So here I have added a MySQL connector Java and Spring Boot starter dot data dot JPA dependency. In that uh, interface, we have to extend the JPA repository property. In GPA, we have to specify the table name or model name. That model name is a user and ID type as an integer. We have to specify the type. Here we have to import the package. And let's finish our DAO layer. And let's create one method. So we open the control. Create one method. And mention the annotations here get mapping give name for a accessing on a URL and also create the object of a model class And here you have to mention only that name I give result which I give in last. First we have to create the reference of our DAO layer user repo. Here you can create the And specify the acquired annotations. Okay. 
That's all. Hmm? You, you can access the data from database by using this repo reference, which I created the interface of a user repo, which extends the JPA repository. Just give name the repo dot find all methods and return the show user page, which already we have seen in last studio. I mean, in expression line, we have given the string as a result. So, return the So just relaunch our applications. Open Chrome browser, type localhost, get user, and here you can see the output of a first is a Gautam and second is Akshay, which is in a database table user Gautam and Akshay. So let's recap our program. First, we have, first I have created one database that is mydb2. Uh, that is a table uh, name is a user and schema name is a mydb2. And here the, the, there are some records. And after that, we have configured some application dot properties file for a database configuration URL, password, username, and dialect property. And I have added some dependency that is. A, MySQL connector, MySQL connector Java, and data JPA. After that, I have created one DAO layer. In DAO layer, we have created user repo interface, which extends the JPA repository, which return the username, user as a table, and integer as an id type after that i have given as an entity annotations for this table to for this class name and id annotations and in controller i have created one method get user and which added as a, or which model class add the add attribute method to add this Repo dot find all method into this em object and which will show in show user page that is in expression language and here is this output of this program so that's all about the how to fetch the data from a database so thank you for watching this video